A local lawmaker with a famous last name will enter the national spotlight this coming Tuesday. As we first reported last night, Massachusetts Congressman Joe Kennedy will deliver the Democratic response to President Trump's upcoming State of the Union address. And we've learned he'll be doing it from a Fall River High School. Today, we caught up with the congressman and asked him about this opportunity. Iowa News reporter Eric Halperin has the story. Eric. Mike, Congressman Kennedy didn't give too many details about what he plans to talk about in the Democratic response. Part of the reason he told me he didn't want to give too much away. The other, he says he's still working on it. With the president's State of the Union still more than three days away, Congressman Joe Kennedy says his speech is still a work in progress. It's going to be our, my words. Um, the leadership team hasn't chimed in at all. Um, it'll be my speech and uh, while I'll have a busy weekend. On Friday, he was the keynote speaker at a capital campaign event for a new Stanley Street Treatment and Resources Center facility. Just one day earlier, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi announced the congressman from Massachusetts would be giving the Democratic response. I think you can expect from a Democratic alternative um, putting again some of those uh, actions uh, and inactions of this administration um, in context. It's expected that President Trump will discuss the success of the economy under his administration as well as his tax bill which has several companies now handing out bonuses to employees. Kennedy, however, takes a different view. That tax bill uh, was not written for communities in Massachusetts. It was not reflecting of the values, vision, the economy that we have here. Um, and that's my biggest problem with it. The president may also discuss immigration. Just yesterday, the White House released a plan that calls for millions of dollars for a border wall and provides a pathway to citizenship for 1.8 million young people brought to America as kids. Kennedy calls it a useful first step. And Kennedy will be giving the address from the same city that he was in today. According to his office, he'll be giving it from the Diamond Regional Vocation Technical High School in Fall River, although it will not be open to the public. I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.